Hello everyone, welcome to Fear, which is not going to load. There we go. Uh, help. Not the start. Surrounded by baddies. Uh, this is the secret level that we just unlocked accidentally by, you know, just pressing these in the previous level. Don't forget we did pick up the Bada Boom Bada Bing gun, which you should probably just press. I mean, that's just entertaining, even if it wasn't necessary, um, which is why we're here. The whole purpose of a game is to be entertaining and not necessary, which is why things like the Hunger Games are not really games, because of course they're entertaining and apparently necessary, because there's no getting out of it. Thanks for the uh, pistol-based troopers, I mean, I haven't seen them sons of the bitches for quite a while. I see um, also baddies that I'm not entirely pleased with being in my vicinity right now, uh, so maybe we just try and shoot the easier ones and ignore the more difficult of them. Oh, look, another one. There's a lot of these Barons of Hell slash Hell Knight ones uh, knocking around these days, which saddens me slightly. I'm going to use another one of these because I like it. It may do a lot of damage to that Baron of Hell, and the Cacodemon was in range of it, and the Baron of Hell killed the Cacodemon, which is basically all a young boy could hope for for Christmas. So thank you for the rockets. I'm probably not going to want to use the... Well, thought I was sidestepping, but there was a door in the way. Uh, probably not going to want to use the rockets against this Joker because he keeps moving around in his cage. Why you would give him a cage with enough room to move? Yeah, you attack him. I don't mind. You're attacking me. You're flying off over there because someone has earned your ire. I, uh, I can understand this. Help. So this level's called Fear. Um, it would be a lot more fearful if I weren't playing it in two. 2017 rather than 1995 or whenever Ultimate Doom was brought out. You can tell, in fact, that there's a, a couple of years gap between uh, this final chapter of Doom uh, and the original chapter of Doom because of the complete... There's a lot of uh, design differences in it. These levels are a lot more complicated than, um, than the original ones. Ooh, I thought I was dodging that, but it turns out I wasn't. So, um, let's see what I said I wouldn't. Pretty sure there was health down here, if not anything. Yeah. It'd be great if uh, enemies dropped HP, actually. That would be really, really fun for me. I mean, the level's it's still using the same engine, of course. It's not like that's changed. It's uh, still two-dimensional, but they're making it go a lot further than they did back then. I haven't got any shotgun shells left, which is why I had to pause instead of just killing that bastard, apparently. See, those things don't seem to be able to hurt you when you're doing that, which is silly. I'm, I'm happy with it, and I should probably save these, um... Uh, I should probably save these, um, HP bonuses for when I've already got full HP. Ow. Bad. I'm trying to save ammo, but it's costing me HP, which is, I guess, a, a reasonable trade off. Things considered. Uh, there's a lot of these. And this is very interesting. Just great use of verticalness in this game, considering, you know, the, the restrictions on exactly that. It really made this game have a lot more value out of its... That was a great dodge, by the way. Thanks for watching. Um, out of its Z-axis work. Which is the common name for it, even though... Well, I guess it's the Z-axis in this engine, because the map itself is a two-dimensional XY um, graph, basically. And it's extended in the third axis, therefore Z, to produce the level, but... What's down here? Another rocket launcher. Bit of armor. Not enough health to make us feel better, particularly. You can tell we don't feel better because we've still got blood streaming out of our nose. I think what we want to do is go in here. Again, it would be so neat if enemies drop stuff, so it was actually worth my while saving this ammo 
killing these things with the chainsaw, which is very therapeutic. Uh, so that the enemies would produce some sort of tangible benefit to us, like dropping HP or something like that. But that's not happening. Uh, hello. I don't want you to be here. Right, any stretch of the imagination. And I will happily kill this demon with my... Yeah, good. We'll take this. I'm still not back in the game in terms of... Uh, not back in the game in terms of HP yet. We still have considerable amount of blood. I believe, according to our friend, 42% health, that... Oh, shit. Um, it's at 40% when we get stuff. Uh, and that was not not a great, not a great time for anybody uh, involved at all. Don't mind pointing that out. You want to um, make the most of this zone as well. So we can... Avoid taking damage from these and avoid using ammo on them at the same time. It's going to be okay by me. Get rid of... No, no, no. Friendly. Is that where we started? No, that's where we exit. So it's mirrored. There's a mirroring thing going on here. Can't open this. Kind of expect it not. Not that I tried it. I mean, you'd think trying it would be smart. Why are you so obsessed with me using that? Well, that makes sense. I understand now. Empty all my ammo into that. Doesn't matter if I overkill it. Uh, the point is that it's dead. Um, get rid of the... Uh, I don't really need to blow up these barrels, actually. It does waste ammo. And... We are in a fairly okay position. In the sense that there is no enemies around here for me to kill, so I'm not going to accidentally shoot that barrel while I'm next to it. But we should... I know I wanted to save those, but it ain't going to happen. Right, we've somewhat cleared this area out, but we do need to try and pick up some of this stuff. So that's one of those dastardly puzzles that they like to face you with in uh, this modern Doom. So it starts here, and we just run. There's a teleporter in there. Wondering if there's anything else. I hope this water doesn't actually hurt. Wow, nearly didn't get round there. It's almost pesky. I do like the music, it's very, um... It reminds me, oh, great. It reminds me of Duke Nukem 3D, uh, 2D, in fact. We should really play. Does that sound like something people want to see? I'm not sure if it sounds like something I want to do, because first of all, I have to find it. I was really bad at it when I was a kid. I mean, it's not really much of an excuse not to play it when I'm an un undisclosed age, but... I mean, I'm obviously, I always used to be bad at this, too. So, are these buttons? Yeah. I'm hearing them opening those. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably could have pressed those a long time ago. I elected not to. This is a very um, utilitarian sort of area. Because by that I mean it's a, a, a sort of... It's very clearly um, a, a military base not taken over by any of the, the, the encroaching creep of the hell environment. Even though we found it straight after... Um, particularly ouchy level. Honestly, I don't remember what the previous level was called. I apologise for my enunciation, you know what I'm like. Uh, I don't remember what the previous level was called. Uh, we should... Come on. Trying to... Trying to make my way here. Despite your, um... Zombie arrogance. Probably just, uh... Do this joker again. Come on then. I don't think they necessarily shoot all that often. Also, just realise I can just try and stay behind them. Just. I mean, it's not that easy. Easier said than done, maybe. But. I do have the benefit of, uh, as I keep saying, modern, modern gaming style. Come on then. Bite your legs off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not gonna accidentally shoot one of these barrels if I chainsaw a barrel. That does sound a little bit silly. Almost back to full health somehow. Pretty happy with it. Uh, we should see where these um, these teleporters go first. I'm a bit scared. 
back into the middle. So where does the middle one go? Because IIRC, there's a Cacodemon involved over there. So we should kill this Cacodemon. Best as, as best as we can. I was, um, I don't know if you are particularly interested in that reference, but that was uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, I'm gonna love her the best as the best as I can. Bow, bow, bow. I'm not gonna remember the name of that song, uh, but yeah, it was a small Hootie and the Blowfish reference, only known in modern uh, culture as the band that Ross liked. I need a yellow key to open that door. In Friends. So, yeah. These all have the same marking on them. Pentagram. 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 Which land on. Pentagram. Which tastes to. Not pentagram. Step on it. Tastes here. Obviously, there's a thing we've missed. Not pentagram. So, those are links, I assume. Where is the yellow key? Tell me, won't you? Tell, tell me, do. You know, I'd tell you. Uh, once more. Yeah, they, they definitely do that. Both yellow doors, so obviously we can't get out here until we've found it. Which is the dastardly puzzle for them to present me with in this, uh, my hour of running around, oh, running around like a lunatic looking for stuff. Look, I'm just running around shooting stuff. I don't really care about your... Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I don't really care about your silly little hiding yellow key type games. I wonder if we would have telefranked that. Also, what I want to do is go and check because I seem to remember that there were some cells that were reachable over here. I think I must have picked them up. I remember there were a couple of cells over there, but I guess I took them. Mustardon. Mastodon. The new social network of the modern age. If anyone's got a Mastodon server, by the way, I was kind of tempted on to run one. For either you and I play, or... Eh, probably for you and I play, to be fair. That would somewhat make sense. Yeah. To I knew you were going to be there. So, uh, I think we'll call this a short episode. Uh, do you know what? We'll see what's next. I was going to say we call this a short episode because the last one was a bit longer, but that was a fairly fun, um, you know, the secret level, and it's called Sever the Wicked, which is sounds like a sort of a either a Chili Peppers song or a um, like a caged the elephant type band. I'm glad I came to full health before I arrived here because this is awful, and I want to die. So if I don't want to die, I want to not die. Right, get rid of the things that can shoot you from a distance, and then start chainsawing the crap out of things that keep flying towards you without permission. You can see them up there. It's not really... That died anyway. <laughs> it's not really uh, conducive to... Oh, 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 oh! We've got a lot of this now. Here you go! Bada boom, bada bing! Nothing outrageous. Look at that splash mark on the screen. There we go, that got some of them. That sounded like a thing I don't want to mess with right now. Why would you not fire downwards? It's very frustrating. So you be gone, you be gone. Just cleaning up this uh this place of these infringing dooms. I do remember this oh, that was just a terrible dodge, which I thought I totally had in the making, but in fact. No. Um, just cleaning up this area. It's a bit messy, you know, we need to tidy it. We'll have the, the viscera the cleanup detail come in to get the actual corpses away uh, at some point in the future, but just for now we need to make sure that there's um, less of the old zombie demon horde. Just for our own peace of mind, really. I mean, we want this place to be... We've got guests. And it's not really fair that you just bring all this mess in. Dump it all over my... whatever this place is. Just tell me the secrets as you go along, actually. Uh, whatever this place is. There's invincibility, which would have been great forever ago, but it's too late now. Okay, that's another one of them, so I'm okay with that. I don't really mind. 
can see a radiation suit, which is going to be useful if we just go up there. I can hear things fighting amongst themselves. Can open this? No. Um, meanwhile, I think I'm safe now to go back up here, pick up some of this. And there is a button that I'm kind of reluctant to press it, to be honest. Can I, um, can you shoot through here? I can probably do this through. Guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, it can scratch me. That's good. That's fine. I think some of the levels I keep thinking about um, from when I previously played Doom are actually in the Ultimate Doom final episode here, so I'm kind of looking forward to playing some of those. There's a large round one where you keep opening up different sections of it before you eventually end up coming across the top of it uh, and, and leaving it over one of the walls, so I'm looking forward to that one. It's a good thing we don't have to pick up um, fuel for the chainsaw, to be quite honest. Why are you lot stuck down there? It implies that these enemies cannot cross this boundary, which is fine with me. You missed because you're bad. Otherwise, they'll be swarming everywhere just from brownie emotion, you know? Which is the uh, the idea. That it's, it's the gesture that they make when they come around with cookies and try and make you buy them. It's called a brownie in motion because you can buy the brownies. To. I mean. Could have made so many other jokes, so just be, just be glad I went with that one. You know, it's, it's a bit like the Heimlich maneuver, but it gets you to eat food instead of saves you from when you fail to eat food. I mean, there's there's many other uses of the word motion that are somewhat less um, less less for them the, the the audience that I'm aiming at, which is well, that's not quite true. Uh, they're perfectly designed for the audience that I'm aiming at. I just chose not to go for them because if you start making jokes like that about young girls, it can get a little bit unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, hello. I'm glad that those were there and not, you know, just another one of the uh, things I was expecting. Um, for example, a, a... I was basically going anything to do with the brownies and any form of motion. There's also the motion you might put forward in a debate. Come out. Coward. Ah! Where do you come from? Um, 9% armor. There you go. Uh, there is a, obviously, a bowel movement, which is what I was trying to avoid going for. Uh, which actually probably would have made a lot more sense, because, of course, there's the natural riff on the word brown, which is already part of that whole um, consideration, that, that whole branch of memetics. As you might call it. Uh, great, so we've got some rocketry going on here. And I am not unfamiliar with the fact that there is this here, but I'm scared of going in it. We didn't save. I'm going to save now because I should. Hide. There's nowhere to hide. Hide somewhere where the things that are melee are put away. Because the things that can shoot you, you can probably dodge a little bit better than the things that are melaying you. Deal with this joker. In a... Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Genuinely thought that it would not be long before he came back, on account of how there's not much room in there. Yeah, just stay behind it. Oh, it can just turn around on a dime, though, so I guess staying behind it is not the. Uh... It's not the coup de grace that I thought it would be. That's my best rolled R in a French way. It's different from the rolled R in the Scottish way. Which is a terrible Scottish accent, but a great R if you don't mind me saying so. Nice arse is the uh, joke I'm trying to avoid making here, but inevitably will. Hello. Can we just do this? Yeah. This is the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen. This probably br brings it down anyway. Yeah. There's a key. A skull key. Why? If I wanted that, I would have done that. A rocket just went off into the void there. Okay, brilliant. Pick up some more rockets. Pick up another shotgun. I think we're doing okay. Um, kind of tempted to save and have a break because my brain is starting to hurt. Um, how long is this episode? Uh, it's about the right length, but we'll, we'll see what we can get from doing this. I... The... I have... <laughs> I can't explain, but the way the light was flashing on that thing genuinely made me think it was going upwards. So that did something. And or. 
nothing. Don't know what that did. Okay then. Back in here. So where did we come into this place? Around this weird sort of catacomb thing, which isn't really a catacomb, but might as well be for the purposes of this discussion, which you don't have a say in, so stop bad mouthing. Shut your trap, sit down and watch it down here. So that's the top of where we just came out of. No, no, you don't. You dip it, leave it now. Oh, hello. Just do this. Have. Wasn't as effective as I was expecting. Not quite sure how effective I expect such rockets to be. But I do expect to get a little bit more damage out of the splash damage than we got. Through. Definitely saving ammo is um, going to be important, I think, in this entire chapter. At least so far, it seems to have been of prime importance. The only thing we've got any mileage out of is the shotgun. And of course, saving health is probably valuable too, but... <laughs> I'm starting to think that the health pickups are more prevalent in, in some way than the, um, than the ammo ones, except for these... HP, these, um, not HP, these shotgun drops that we're only getting because the enemies that we kill are carrying them. So there's our red. We also want to make sure that that joker down there is not down there, if we can avoid it. That would have been good. Partial invisibility. Don't know if I can hit this with such a slow moving projectile. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Um, let me come down here and see if we can do a similar thing. No, there is not a similar section, but I'm wondering at what point you actually take that leap, because I can see that. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. Look. So let's just let's continue with what we were doing, which is this, because whilst we're invisible, not invincible, which is over there, um, we sh could at least make some good progress on uh, amongst the enemies that could otherwise do us some considerable damage just by being half decent aims, which is apparently none of them. Did we press? Did we press that? I don't know. Should uh, try and get rid of this Joker now. Oh, that was very dangerous. I see a red door down there too, and I want to paint it black. Oh shit! Didn't really mean to do that. But at the same time, at some point, we're going to have to come down to this red door. Right, that just does that. I can assume that the same is true on the other side as well. So, the splash damage is enough to hurt me from that distance, but it doesn't do any fucking damage to the bad guys in the first place. Fine. You know what? Far be it for me to complain about the way this game works. It's not like there's going to be any bug fixes or patches at this stage. So, you can, uh... Get wrecked, son. This is all fine. That's the exit. So we are done here if we want to be. Which I do not. Somehow we can get over there. Can we just run across? No. Uh, that doesn't really help. Let's go and press this. Because I'm not sure if I have. We've got 24% health, 0% armor. We're wearing sunglasses, and it's the middle of the night. that help? Please stop making that noise. Did that get us anything? Did it come back on again? I mean, did it deactivate? Oh! Well, if I'd known that, things would be different. Bullets help. Um, I'm assuming the invincibility does not last between levels, so we'll, we'll have another check around here, see if there's anything that we want. That looks very strange. That's what we call the edge of the world effect, which is something that we... I say we. We in the industry. Uh, we try and avoid it in modern games, of course, because we have the the capacity to continue the world in, in a basically completely arbitrary fashion. There's a backpack and some berserk. Not too interested about the berserk, but what we can do is we can get the uh, invulnerability, which would have been great just now. Get the invulnerability. Invulnerability. Bounce off this backboard here. Pick up the Berserk. Pick up this. Berserk heals you. That's amazing. I did not know that. Open this shit up. Use this. Takes us back to the start. Not interested. However. 
kind of interested in all this. We need to use the invulnerability to get down here before it wears off. Try not to accidentally activate that teleporter on the way up. Good. And then uh, pick up a few extra shells and bullets and things at your leisure, but don't go too crazy because now we're in a very good position for the next level, which I believe is now. So, thank you for watching. This says exit. I'm hoping it's the exit, even though why would these Hellspawn demons put exit on a level? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As usual, if you uh, like the episode, do leave a like. It helps out. Leave a comment if you've got anything to say about how bad I am at this game, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. But until the next episode, which is through this portal, I will see you then.